Hey guys, welcome back! It is winter time, the days are short, um, not my cup of tea at all. But the good thing is, you get into reading more, or at least I do. I've been a bookworm for forever now. Um, as a little child, it was my greatest pleasure to just cuddle up underneath a blanket with a good book and get lost in it for hours. And of course, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I think I read every book like, I don't know, five times or something. So yeah, once vacation rolled around, I always had like, I don't know, five kilograms books with that with me. And that got really heavy, really annoying, even though I'm still into paper books. I recently, since I got my iPad, I switched to ebooks. And it has been a life changer because you only have this lightweight iPad with you, but you can have access to thousands and thousands of books. And I thought, why not show you what apps I use and where I actually get my books from? Because you don't always have to pay for them. As a girl on budget, you need to see like where you can maybe save some bucks. The first app I use, obviously, because it's already on your iPod, is iBooks. If I can find it. All right, here it is. So iBooks is amazing because usually if you download an ebook or from any research and it's an EPUB um, file, then it opens automatically in iBooks. And the other great thing is that you can actually access this from all your devices. So if you're like on the plane and you don't have your iPad with you, you can actually read it on your iPhone or your MacBook or whatever you like. So this is what it looks like. You can scroll through. I also have some magazines in there too. My nutrition plans by the Turn It Up Girl, so lots of stuff. Um, that is really amazing and if you click it, that's the book I'm reading right now. Um, you can see like on which page you are and it's easy to just scroll through. Um, this little arrow right here takes you back to the library and you have your overview and it looks like a little bookshelf, so really amazing. And then the other app I use if I buy my ebooks from Amazon is the Kindle app. So I don't have a Kindle, I'm not a big fan of it because all you can do is read on it and that's what I have my iPad for. But it's really amazing if you want to download straight, you bought something on Amazon and download straight to Kindle. And you have this overview as well. Really amazing, I just love it. Uh, it's, it also syncs on all your devices, really easy. And then now to my tip on where to get books for free. So I don't know if you heard about the social network, um, social, what? Yeah, it's kind of like my friend told me it's like Facebook for Russia. So it's called vk.com and there, because the Russians have kind of a different law system, so everyone can like upload all the stuff they bought, if it's like DVDs or books or whatever, and share it with everyone else. And I have the app right here and then you have the document tab um, and then you just type in any book title you want. They don't have other book titles obviously but mostly like the most popular ones and you just choose whichever you want and you download it and they either have like the PDF file or the EPUB file. Either one is good and you just download it and you're good to go. Alright guys, so these are my tips on how you can travel with books and like how you can read ebooks on your iPad. If you want to know which books I'm reading right now, then just leave me in the comments below and I will make sure to make a video about that. Oh, and I just added my Snapchat, so I will put the handle right here if you want to follow me there. Or you can either follow me Instagram, Twitter, whatever you have desires, Facebook. All the information is on my end screen and I can't wait to see you soon. Happy reading!